On to a par three. I think it is number 17 at TPC Sawgrass. We're gonna hit six at the same time and he's gonna put a tracer on each ball and we're gonna hit him in the hole. Welcome back to another good, good video. We are back out here at Tour 18 in Dallas. We're five under through six holes and we're on to seventh hole of the day, which is Harbor Town number 18. As you guys have seen part one, we had some absolutely intense, crazy, beautiful specimens out there playing some golf. And now we're starting on number 18, Harbor Town, the destiny. So we have to make sure we keep our streak rolling with the birdies. Potentially we'll throw some eagles in here with our power drivers that we got here. And of course, Steven on the putting green ain't no joke. Okay, so let's get right involved here. Check out Good Good, 250,000. We're getting that podcast rolling in, and let's get right involved here. We gotta hit some good shots. You know what, I think I'm gonna start. All right, Tay's gonna start us. Anyways, I yeah. hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. If you haven't checked out the part one, then go ahead and uh, go ahead and look at it. That ball's kinda broken. The ball broke. Something broke. That ball, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's not the ball, I didn't hit it that well. It but we're, so hard that it broke. We're in the, we're in the fairway. Holy car heart. Oh. That's gonna be good actually. Really good. Yeah, that's a great position. That's a great position. We can take that. Here's my hat. His hat hit his club face and flew up again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kyle's gonna hit and then uh, I don't think we'll have to hit anymore after that. Holy yes. That actually can get to the second water at 20. A little low on the face. That was good. You like it? He likes it. I like it. We all like it. Let's get on about it. Guys, Kyle hit an absolute brilliant drive here. We have 109 yards into a par five. Kyle's gonna go first. I'm gonna go second. And I'm then whoever first. wants to go after that. 109 in a pen, 54 degree wedge. So this is gonna be a really nice, easy three course swing. And again, just trying to focus on being soft with the hands. Keep working. Oh, it's too strong, bro. Had a boy. How a trippy. Ah, Steven knew. Get there, get there. Nice shot, Micah. What a sitter. Oh. Good shot. That thing just sat like a sitter. That was beautiful. Babysitter. All right, I got a pee wedge. Oh. Wow. Sit. Can we just take a second to admire the fact that Tour 18 actually remade all of these famous holes. That has to take a lot of time and effort. Oh man, that was... That's me. Just a catch for Jimmy. I'm like the tennis players. <laughs> Go. Could be good. I'm gonna throw my club. Dang it! The water's in play for my club. Holy dying pig. Yeah. Bobby, tall. Great shot. That's fun. A little Thank long. You. Yeah, I take that. I had dog fights going on in the background. Seriously, it was like squealing <laughs> dying pig. Dying pig in your back swing. You know what they say, take care of the course and it'll take care of you. You guys can see I've had my bivocals on all day because uh, I want to make sure I see the competition. We're going to let Steve knock this one in and then we're going to go on to the next hole. See if I can't roll another one pure. Get one under the belt. Nice little bird. We're out. Oh, oh we're out! Steven. This is not chance anymore. Recently, since most of my game is not doing too well, it's not doing too hot, as you can see, I've really practiced on putting. I've literally sit in uh, my house, hit a bunch of putts, and it's paying off finally. I don't know, I'm just feeling good with the putter. Guys, we just made a, a terrible it's mistake, terrible. okay? That was a par four, not a par five. We were all hyped up about eagles and ever whatever, but we made a birdie. We're currently one to through one. That's a bad mistake on our part. Guys, we are on to hole number eight. Oakland Hills model, hole number 16 out at Oakland Hills. This dog like right. This is I'm insane. The this actually is a beautiful looking hole. Wait, you can get it to the green, Kyle. I'm gonna aim at that little well, tree at the corner there and play cut. So we've changed up our strategy a little bit. We're gonna get one in play and then Kyle is just, it's downwind. So if he hits like a, like a long drive drive, he can get there. So we're gonna just see what happens. I 
That's Bobby, fine. you're that striping is 100% it today. Fine. Bobby's hitting the driver good right now. That should be on the edge of the fairway. That stayed in the air for a while, dude. That would have carried that corner, I think. And that thing's gonna run forever. Dude, I I remember how much. Are they clear? I remember why I got rid of this driver. Because <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Holy ripper, my boot! Holy sound. That's it hard. Yeah, it's. Is that gonna get Bobby? Oh. oh, and it's literally right at it. Go! Wait. Right. Get right. Get right. I don't know. We don't know. How does he hit it so straight and far? Well, he didn't hit it quite as it quite the wind center, really, really good, but it rode the wind well. So we, we have no idea, but we're going to get up there and check it out because that's what we do. I'm going to actually turn to the cameraman. Hey, Matt, let's sit out on this hole. Let's have them hit the shots. Let's have Max and Colin hit our shots for us. What? Are we allowed Colin, to switch? actually do it. Dude. Come on, the people want to see it. People, I think the people, the people are people, gonna I don't look. Think the people want to see this. Come on, it, it's fine. Oh, land in the hole. This goes in. Oh, oh my, actually, really solid shot. <laughs> oh, oh, Max! Oh, Max! <laughs> you freaking animal, bro! Destiny's <laughs> child. Woo! He's probably about seven feet. Now we got Steve. Oh, oh. he wasn't wait. kidding. He wasn't kidding. Yo, literally, he wasn't yo. kidding. Steven is on fire. Oh, my. Today. No! <laughs> Little spinner, this could be even oh. closer. Oh. That shot. Nipper man. Steve still Look got me. Shots. I haven't hit a good shot today, so. And it remains the same way. Ooh. Ooh. That's crispy. Ooh. Nice shot, Bobby. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you and I have been struggling. I literally almost kicked the ball. I'm going to tap this in with a wedge. I found a salt rock. Pretty good. <laughs> nice. This you man's party. Another yeah. level. Yeah. Steve has made every birdie putt that we've actually Holy had in rare. both of these videos. Oh On to a par three. I think it is number 17 at TPC Sawgrass. You guys probably remember this, but when Ricky won, I think it was in 2015, he won the Players' Championship, and he hit a clutch shot on this hole with the same exact pin location, so we get to do that today. He put it within like five feet, and then he just tapped in and won, and it was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Hundred and thirty five yards to the pin. That bunker is just looking big. The water's looking really heavy. What did you just say? So guys, we're doing something a little different here. Colin's gonna set up the drone. We're gonna hit six shots at the same time in this hole instead of how we normally play scramble where you hit one, one, one. We're gonna hit six at the same time and he's gonna put a tracer on each ball and we're gonna hit him in the hole. Is. Bobby's on the left side. A couple balls almost hit each other up there, but that just was weird. So you guys will see that on the tracer. That was we just kind of did that for the video for fun. I hope we can still make a birdie. I know. If we would have just all hit regular, we would have had one close. But obviously we were focusing on just hitting the ball. Whatever. It that's don't make right. no difference. Six halfway, one to dozen the other. That's what I like to say. We got we got six putts. We got to make something. Let's make something happen. Oh my, no way! I didn't hit it hard enough. It's all right. Oh! That's like the most wobbly club I've ever seen. Yeah. Damn. All right, Matt, you got this. Come on, man. Let him in. Let him in. Yeah. 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 Keep our birdie streak alive. That's what I like to see. Even though we did a little something crazy off the tee, we made birdie. We're currently three under through, three under through three. Look at me. You think I'm messing around? My ball might have win the water, but it doesn't matter when you got one on the green. So we're actually nine under through nine, folks. Unreal. You love to see. Good, you 
What? 9029. Yeah, we're chilling. I mean, we're vibing out here, guys. All right, guys, we made it to the fourth hole of today's video, and we're on number 10 at Tour 18 Dallas, and it is the third hole of Oakmont Country Club. Straight up hill, par four, 408 yards from the tips. That was a lot of numbers, but I think we got it worked out. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna hit a little cut off the church pews. Wow. Jeez, I'm literally not hitting. I think I'm gonna step in for Kyle. Nice right past the 150. Yeah, animal. I guess I hit that pretty good. But when that landed, I was like tripping a little bit. But we got one in the fairway. Um, Steve's going next. Kyle's in the clubhouse, so I'm going to take his spot. Try to pick up his pay. Swing speed of 250. Yeah. Little Rocky was, Ball Z. Nice ball. Stay left of it. Oh, you're right up there. Steve. Steve. <laughs> Bro, he just took Kyle's spot. He's right next to Mike up there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to try and not go in the church pews. I believe those are called. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hit it up the fairway. That's oh, ball. That so good. That is going to go way past Mike because it has no span. It's going to get the speed slot. Love it. I love it. Where'd that go? Oh, that's on the top of that hill. The ball. Where right, is it at? 40 yards past. <laughs> oh, wait. I told you, a blind squirrel finds an acorn every now and then. Garrett and Kyle unfortunately dropped their wallets. They're on their way back. They're going to miss this hole. But, of course, we're going to carry on the legacy and make a nice little eagle and get on. 115 yards, we're guesstimating to the pin, maybe a little bit longer. Downwind, uphill. I think it's going to even out. Steve played about 120. Oh, baby. Nice shot. I like that, Micah. You animal. Oh, that could be really good. Sit, sit, sit. Really ah, long. dude, that was right on it. What club is that? 52. I hit it just a tad. A tad yeah, thin. But boy, I tell you, 115 was the right number. Had everything in line there. Just a little too much mustard on the ketchup. All right, guys, I got a 56 with the wind at the back. I want to see if I can make a natural birdie here. I ain't made a birdie in a while. And well guys, I'm back. I found my direction. wallet. 121 guys, we gotta play with the purpose. I got 52 degree. Get in the hole. Get out of there. Is that long? Oh my god. Only two people hit this green, so not our best performance, but we've got ourselves a beautiful putt uphill for birdie. Now the only thing we gotta do, Mike, is make it. It's about as simple as that, son. We got 25 feet left for birdie. I think we're gonna make it. I mean, with the way that we've been putting today, not everybody's even had to putt, and we made birdie on every hole. It's the first oh, one. Wow, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh. Thought of destiny, he made it. He literally made it. Oh, that was Not really, look at that. Bro, you lip out of this hole, you give yourself nine feet. Taking the slower, higher approach. Me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He did it. Woo! Yes, yes. Come on, baby. Yes. I come back from picking up my wallet. It gives me a different energy that I've never had before. 64 in the door. That's what we like to see. A little lip out for me. And Garrett's like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be optimized here. I'm going to optimize the destiny. And I'm going to make it. We are currently 9 under through 10. Oh, we got two more holes. And that's what I like to see. We're currently right where we want to be. We got to make an eagle at some point here. I don't know if it's gonna come in these next two holes, but I think it might. I think we got a part three, part five. My wallet fell through the destiny. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna we're gonna tell them. We're gonna tell them for when they edit this later. So my wallet didn't actually fall in the fairway. This is this is the dumbest thing, and I am gonna confess it to the viewers. One of the dumbest things. <laughs> One my, of the my wallet didn't actually fall in the fairway. I left it in the bathroom on accident. We so. basically drove it through four holes of probably six groups <laughs> asking, hey, hey, you guys have a wallet? <laughs> And we drove all the way back, and was, and he's like, "Oh wait, let me let me check the bathroom." We just drove past three times, and it's in the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, I found my wallet. That's really what happened. All right, guys, we're on to our fifth hole of today's video, and this is hole number eleven out here, two eighteen, and it is the third hole at Southern Hills, and it is a four hundred fifty yard par four. Oh, get in the hole. Does it go left? Uh, does it go that way? No. Yeah, it goes that way. Oh, it actually does a little it bit. It definitely goes that way. Bubby Driver! Now she's hitting that thing. Bubby, where did this come from? It's the driver. Oh, oh he hit yeah. a car path. 
Oh, really? That was right down the middle of the fairway. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I said it on the last hill. You weren't here. I'm a blind squirrel that found an acorn today with this stick. That could be really good. There's a it's chance Mike and I are actually awesome. No trees. I don't think I hear trees. I'm just wondering how much that dog leg's left. I've been, the more I think about it, the more I feel like you and I actually might, I might be all right and you might be all right. I tow it, you're everything Steve. with the driver. I was a negative 10 club path and a negative eight face path. All right guys, we're off to the races, hole number three at Southern Hills. I actually feel pretty good about my drive. It didn't touch a tree, I that's took good. an aggressive line. Probably a line that I would take if I was playing the tour event there. Um, you have to stay aggressive, and that's what I was trying to do. Here's the deal. Kyle was looking for his ball. Unfortunately, I think it went a little too far that way, whichever, that way is left. My ball is perfectly centered of the fairway. I think we have about 110 yards to the pin. I got sand wedge in hand. Downwind. Downwind putt fail. What do you think, 112? 112. I like that. Pretty close to the same number you had on the last hole. Oh, that's such a good number. Go. Show me some gravity. Oh! Go. Oh. Go. It's in there. I think we can get one a little closer, but it, it everything feeds kind of back to the right there. Go, See, that go. could be really good. See, that's uh, one where we want to be, though, underneath the pin down. on the right side. Oh, Dude, it's long. It's yeah, okay, do not swing hard, because I swung easy there. All right, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Steve. He's looking like Mike. <laughs> He's got pee wedge in hand. <laughs> Woo! Sit. Sit. Sit a little bit. Sit. Sit a little bit. Don't Sit, 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 sit. Drop, like drop, drop. Chunk is a shot, man. Chunk roll up good. Chunk runs. The, the chunk was destiny. No, he did. That's been draw, draw. Yeah. Nice That's shot. Dang it. If That's it gets really the right, good. if it gets the right kick. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Look at that. Trickle, trickle. <laughs> Did we get it? Destiny's That's child. Of course knowledge. Nice shot. Thank you. We're doing pretty good. We're getting ourselves birdie looks every time. I can't get my irons under control, so we're gonna try to figure it out. But this course is insane. Each hole is, is insane. I hope you guys enjoy this content because you can't beat it. You really can't. Unless you're gonna travel all around the world to get these, you can't beat it. We're going with Matt's ball. Bubba yeah, was, was closer, but I think we might think this so is- Just so people know, the second he is, is probably start walking to the cart. Oh my, oh Steven! my goodness! Bro, what is happening? Look at this I, man. He knows. He knows he what knows. it is. Alright guys, on to the last hole of today's video and we're finishing on a absolute fantastic hole. This is hole number six at Riviera and this is the famous hole with the sand with the bunker in the middle of the green. There's one part of this green where you don't want to hit. And uh, pins on the left side, so I think we should be good. That's what it looks like right there, Colin. There's literally a, a little pot bunker right in the center of the green, and it's called the famous water bunker for some reason. And, uh, or war bunker, sorry, war bunker in the center of the green, paying tribute to World War I veterans. I'm getting older, I'm losing my power, so I'm gonna hit a nice little seven. <laughs> I'm getting older. <laughs> I take a little bit off this and flight it under this wind. Hey. Uh, oh, it's oh, sick. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Look at that. Right there, though, the wind is knocking it out of the sky. It's be a little short, actually. There's so much wind. Oh, Play a blanket on ours, man. Wind says bye bye. That was the right club. G money rat this in the hole. It. Parrot, this Lark. is it. Be good. That was eight iron dig, by the way. Nice shot. A little bit short. Good That's a good shot. Draw, draw, draw. Ah, right, it's headed for the war bunker. I feel oh, like that was the distance with money. This is the last hole of part two. So we gotta try and find a way to ease in a birdie. 
I'm really looking forward to making a putt. Let's do it. Guys, look at this. We've made it to the green. This green is absolutely normal. It's like a big donut. It's like a big donut from Duncan, okay? We got the sand in the middle, and I think that's pretty cool. The uh, strategy and the accurateness that they had to go through to be able to create a course like this is absolutely incredible. And it's just it's a public course, so if you're in the Dallas area or not in the Dallas area, check this course out because it's un unreal. Oh! Has the big thing is he never hits a bad putt. Like it's, I rarely see him hit bad putts. That's a good putt. No, I no, it, putt. no. That goes that way. He goes right. He goes Roger. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! He did it again! Oh. Shoot! What? Did you see it do a little on the towards the this way? See, it gets on that little rig. Yeah. Alright guys, it's down to me to make our sixth birdie of today's video. I got a good look at it. Come on, Mike. Dude, you got this. Yes, I'm so glad. Six birdies in a row. We are currently uh, 11 under through 12 holes. Guys, thank you for watching part two of Good Good Goes to Tour 18. Once again, shout out to Tour 18 for having us out today. An absolute blast. This course is amazing. Honestly, a blast. It was a lot of fun. Micah came out and he clutched that birdie. We birdied every single hole out here on part two, which is really, really fantastic. We need it. But now, you guys need to make sure that you stay tuned for the next part because we got some more intense holes what, coming your way. What are we currently at? 11, 11 under. Par. 11 very under very through 12. Par. We've only made one part of it. Yeah. But that's when the Eagles will come into play. We need to go back to back on the par fives and get ourselves a fantastic score. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part three. Always subscribe, always like, leave a comment. 250,000 subs, we'll be getting a podcast rolling in the feet. Let's get something happening. Let us know courses you want to see good, good play in the future because we're going to make that content happen. We want to know what you guys think. Hey, Peace man. out. Uh.